What's going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and today is a magnificent day. Right here, this is my pond. A lot of you guys saw this pond come to life, and it was like a big part of our life for like a year. We had so much fun with it. We were always out here. We planted all this papyrus, and we put in the biofalls in a totally non-conventional way. We put in all this wild grasses from the ranch. We had tons of fish in here. But over the past two weeks, something's happened. The fish have disappeared. Now, still plenty of food for the fish. As you can see, there's plenty of water for the fish. But there are no fish. Now, either the fish grew legs and decided to just go on a walkabout and leave, or someone or something got them. Now, we have a lawn maintenance crew that they come in and they mow our lawn. And I would bet you like my truck that they're not hijacking my fish from me. I got into the pond the other day, looked around, and there were a couple of big tilapia in there. Zero bass, zero bluegill. A lot of beautiful little minnows. I mean, as you can see, they're just hanging out, chilling. They're like in love with the place because there are no predators there to eat them. But even the tilapia, there's not nearly as many of them. And the ones that are there are totally secluded. Like they don't want you to be close to them, which means I believe we have a predator. The question is, what kind of predator do you think would be getting my fish out of here. My guess is I've got a big heron. Some kind of big bird must be catching my fish and eating them. The problem with that is, if it was a heron, I believe they would have eaten the minnows first. But we got a million minnows. I just don't think a person's, I just don't want to believe in my heart that there's a person coming into my yard taking fish out of my pool pond thing. So what could it be? I don't know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a trail camera and I'm going to catch more fish and put in the pond and hopefully the fish thief continues to come. If you've got a pond in your backyard and you want to get all the fish around, watch this. This is what you do. You take a piece of bread like this. Get it wet and then skip it across the top like that. As long as it skips, little particles of the bread go down in the water and the fish start eating them. Typically, you don't want to use, don't use the crust because crust doesn't make a good bread ball. Take a little pinch of the bread ball, roll it up, and then put it in your mouth and sort of like suck it down tight, then put it on your hook. That's like the perfect size bread ball right there. Bluegill love bread. So do tilapia, believe it or not. What you got? What you got, baby? Oh, I bluegill. Called I called it. I said little bluegill. And he gave me my bait back. Look at that. That's what we're after right there. Nice little bluegill. We had a bunch of these in our pond before, but dad gummit, I don't know what happened to them. Okay, honey, you're on a roll. She's got one. If you want to sabotage your fishing partner, AKA your wife. That's what you've been doing. Just make the bread balls real soft and the fish take it right off. But That's what you've been doing. Hey, sometimes, sometimes they say defense wins championship. Cheating is a cheater. Deer meat for dinner trick. Backyard fishing. Looks like you got a cool Yeah, watch this. Oh yeah. Look at that. What was the trick? Now. Okay. Look at that big old nice hefty gill. So, I don't know if y'all know this. Me and Sarah get 
competitive with everything. No, 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 no. Honey, no, you, you just missed one. Because you told me to set it how you did. I caught it my way. Okay. Who do you think? Who do you think is going to catch the next fish? Me or Sarah? Oh man, did y'all see that? Like Lightning McQueen right there. Catching the did bobber coming nailed? at my forehead. Did you get nailed or was that at you? <laughs> Here you go. Gotta set them real hard. I mean, they're huge fish. Set them like a man. <laughs> Look, she just left it out there hoping she's got a little bit of bait on there. I'm getting hungry. It's almost dinner time, so we better make this quick, babe. I, I was I was hoping to catch like a dozen fish to put in the pond, but we've got two. So we're going to see what happens right now. That's a Boston. You know what they say, numero dos. Question, what are you doing right now? Like, are you just sitting at the house hanging out? Are you sitting in class when you should be doing homework but you're watching Deer Meat for dinner? What are you guys up to? I always wonder that, like, when you're watching our videos and our channel or YouTube in general, what are you doing? Uh, yeah! Okay. That's what I, I, I get an assist on that one at least. Hold on, I want to show them one thing real quick. Watch this. The reason, see that hook? The reason I use a long shank hook is so you can get it out without sticking your fingers in their mouth. Whoa! Back in there, dude. This is a lot more suitable for life. All right, let's go. Hey, we got four fish. Let's go put them in the pond, then we're going to dinner. All right, you guys, welcome back to the pond. And we are getting ready to turn our fish loose. This is so cool. I love catching fish and turning them out like this. Okay, real nicely. Whoa! Dude, I got fish jumping out everywhere. There goes one. Now look. Look at this. Look at this right here, you guys. Welcome to your new home, guy. Here's another one. Whoa. Here we go. They're like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. A home with no bass. One more. Beautiful little bluegill. So cool. Now, what I want to do is I didn't turn on my GoPro. So, I'm having a little bit of brain damage right now, y'all. Clearly, over there is where the predators are gonna be getting after my fish. So I'm gonna strap a Browning game camera right here and hopefully we get a look at them. But for now, you guys, seeing as I forgot to turn on my GoPro, that was a total fail. I'm gonna go in there, take a shower, get something to eat tonight, and then tomorrow we are heading to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania for the Great American Outdoor Show. I'm so stoked and I hope to see you there. Hey, my fish! Oh, you fly well dog and then plug over in the pod. Look at that. Turn off the TV, please. You see, uh, the, you see the otter? Oh uh, no. He just went right around here. Uh, he gone. Okay, so I just woke up and came out here, and Arya's like, "There's an otter at our front door." Come here. Okay, I'll help him. He help him. Hold on. Oh, come on! Oh, you, you fly well dog and then plug over in the pod. Nurse, is the other sick? Uh, 
stealing our fish? Yeah, he's stealing our fish. There you go. Oh my God, hold on. I catch him. You want to catch him, huh? Yeah. I help him mine in pond. Was he cute? Yeah. Oh my. So big. He's so big? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you hold him. You want to hold him? Uh-huh. Holy cow. I go scared. You're not scared? I scared. I go dumb. I'm not scared. There's a lot of people say, oh, you know, pond mon a pond monster this, a pond. We straight up got a wild otter climbing in our pond, snagging fish. Yo, what's up? We had so much fun out at the Great American Outdoors show. And as you can tell, I kind of lost my voice, but I'm getting ready to check the trail camera and see if we got any other critters other than the otter that showed up at the front door the other day. But while I check the trail camera, check out some of the people I saw while I was at the show because man, I wanna say thank you to everyone that came up, said hello, took pictures, and just had a great time with us. That show was amazing, and it's because of you. Miranda, I hope you're watching, and if you are, I really appreciate you watching our channel so much. You sound very, very special. Your dad loves you, and I love you also. Thanks for being a part of Deer Meat for Dinner. We go! Alrighty. Well, we did not get the otter on trail camera, but as you can see, see that bucket right there? That's full of fish food. That old raccoon was clearly climbing in there. And I don't know what he was doing in the pond right here, but he was certainly digging in there catching something. I'm not sure what that raccoon was doing in the pond. He might have just been getting a drink of water, but I doubt very seriously he was catching any fish. Maybe a frog, maybe a lizard, maybe something like that, but not the fish. I do believe the otter is the culprit. But you know what? Otters are so cool. I'll keep putting fish in here just so he can eat the dang things. Um, I'd love to see him again. Come back, Mr. Otter. But uh, anyway, if you guys enjoy this, if you want to see me totally bring this pond back to life, drop a big thumbs up, leave it in the comments below. But I got to tell you right now, the house has been started and we are building a beautiful pond out on the three acres. And if you guys want to see a little bit of the new house, please let me know in the comments below. But for right now, that's all I got for you. But I want to tell you, I love you. I appreciate you.